A lot of the problem is the confusion. It, it, to the fleshly mind, the scriptures contradict themselves. To the spiritual mind, we've already been bested. We've been beat. We get broke. We come to the end of ourself. Therefore, we know God is right and we are wrong. And so when we find faults in scripture, or we find contradiction. If you're new in the faith, you're like, okay, well, maybe that's just a lie that they got put in, or maybe it was this or that. And, and maybe they did some of these. I have yet to find one. Uh, the one I'm waiting on that's even close to that is Paul establishing the offices of bishops and so forth. But I still wait on the answer from God because that doesn't seem like something Paul would do. But every other time that I found that, I said the same thing too. Like, uh, obey the orders of them who pointed over you and that it, who have been given the sword, for they have not been given it in vain. But you came from the Israel faith, Paul, and you know that they killed Stephen, and so they bore the, the sword in vain, and you know they crucified Christ, so they do bear it in vain. He wasn't talking about the physical judicial system. He was talking about apostles sent by God. He was talking about the sent servant of the Lord, prophets and apostles, apostles now. But so he, he, that's what he was talking about. But when you read it in that light, you're like, oh, shit, duh, Paul's not wrong. I was stupid, assuming it was something that it was not. And so as we go through and you run into contradictions, there's other ones such as one of the most major ones is God is not evil. God is not bad. God does nothing wrong. Right. But God crucified his own son. Yeah, when he does that, it creates a way for all of us to crucify our son. It redeems us if we come to the truth. When we do it, it sends us to hell. When he does it, it provides a way for us that have done it by legalities, by obeying, by paying, by lying. We crucify our sons on, on legal papers, telling them they need degrees and what have you. We built up their prisons. So when we come to the truth, it's a way of forgiveness. See, God can't do wrong. So when God crucifies his son, it's very good. And so when God makes good and evil, and he says, I do all these things for my good pleasure, he says, look, this is good, this is evil. Choose the good, refuse the evil, and I'll forgive you for all your evil, counting that as a work for good. That is what God does. That's who God is. And we lose it with a fleshly mind. But in the spiritual, we learn to wait on God because he breaks us in our sin. He con con convicts us, convinces us completely that he is above us in every wise. And we cannot fix ourselves. And so we wait on God. And waiting on God, well, you already know. You lift up with wings of eagles. You go to heaven. You become Ophiuchus to become Achaia. You go past Draco by the boots, by being the footstool of God, knowing God is 